Now we move over to we did a case wherein you choose R out of N items out of which M is always included or uh, it's always excluded. So the number of available items is N less. But suppose we need to pick up R at a time out of N such that M is always included. Then how do we get that kind of a situation? Let's see what we have here. Now, for example, we would include them arrangements. So here, for example, out of these six, two have always to be included. That means the number of available, you have to suppose pick up four. You need to pick up four out of these six, such that two are always included. So if you see, that means the number you need to pick up, two are already picked up. So the number of available options is going to be 4 minus 2. That means you need to pick up only R minus M. M terms R minus M items is what you need to pick up because out of R, M have already been picked up. But you have to pick them up out of again, 2 have been picked up. So the number of available options, you have to pick them, you have to pick up 2 out of 4. So now, hence the number of Total available still remains n minus m and p. So out of n minus m, we need to pick up r minus m, but not once because you could pick up these two, these two, these two, or these two. So there are four possibilities of arranging if you want to pick up any two, and hence you will have four times. So it's going to be r times n minus m p r minus m. That means Suppose you need to pick up any uh, 4, this is already picked up. So the remaining 2 can be picked up in so many 4 different ways you can pick up the remaining 2. So hence we have R into N minus M P R minus M. This is the formula for always seeing to that out of N items available, if R have to be picked up at a time out of which M are always included then the number of items that have to be picked up would be R minus M and the number of items that are available for picking up is N minus M and you do this R times. So the number of permutations is going to be R into N minus M P R minus M, right? Now this seems to be a little dicey. Now why this part you understand it's very, very clearly that since M of them have been already selected, you need to select only R minus M. You need to arrange, pick up only R minus M and arrange them. So now where does this R come from? R is how many times, how many items you're going to select now. For example, suppose in one of the four P2, in this case, it is four P2 ways that you're selecting these ones. Now these, in each of these four P2 ways, you can combine and arrange them with this. For example, you're selecting this one and this one. This one and this one are fixed in any case. And you combine them with A and B. It could be 1, 2, A and B or 1, 2, B and A. Within this, there are so many possibilities within this. So it's going to be R possibilities of these. So among each of these four P2 ones, there will be R number of possibilities. There are four possibilities because now it is 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, you're picked up, which is R. Now, R of these can arrange them within themselves R times. So, hence, we get R, N minus M, P, R minus M. Hence, there are four ways in which these ones can arrange and hence, we get R, N minus M, P, R minus M. So, this is one formula. So, if you compare with excluding, exclude arrangement has N minus M and P R because you need to select R out of N minus M wherein this R is not featuring because we are we are going to get only R procedures. But in this when you are talking about including it is going to be R times N minus M P R minus M because after the selection there are R ways in which you can arrange each of the selections that we have. So let's see how we can apply this particular formula. 
The number of arrangements of 10 different things taken 4 at a time in which one particular thing always occurs is what? Is among these which options. So here we have n is 10 and we need to pick up any 4. So r is 4 and one particular thing m is 1. So if we use it is r times n minus m p r minus m. So it's going to be r is 4. 4 times 10 minus 1 p 4 minus 1. So it's going to be 4 times 9 p 3 which is going to be 4 into 9 factorial upon 9 minus 3 6 factorial which would be 4 into 9 into 8 into 7 into 6 factorial by 6 factorial and this will turn out to be 4 into 9 is 36 into 56 and you have 2016 so there are 2016 ways in which this arrangement can be made so do we have that option here yes we do have it is 2016 so we have 2016 is the answer so what do we have next we have next is in how many ways we can arrange four letters from seven letters so that's two are never included now this looks a little tricky because in the context of what we have done it has been deliberately placed over here don't just look at the word included it is never included which is equivalent to it excluded two are always excluded so don't use that r n minus m p r minus m so it's going to be we have r here as 4, n is 7 and m is 2. So 2 are always excluded. So that means the formula is going to be n minus m p r. That means the 4 have to be selected out of 7 minus 2, 5. So it's going to be 7 minus 2 p r. That means p 4. So it's 5 p 4. So you need to arrange in 5 P4 ways, which is 5 factorial into 1 factorial, which is 120. So there are 120 such arrangements that can be made. So always read the question. It is never included, which is equivalent to excluded, not included.